There was a study that was done with uh, school-aged children who were having trouble spelling. They took a sample group and they were getting between 26 and 46 percent of their words spelt incorrectly. So basically all of these students were failing. They went and they taught them how to spell their spelling words using the manual alphabet. So let's say C-A-T. And there's muscle memory involved in their learning. And so what was happening was after they learned their spelling words using the manual alphabet, they were able to easily transfer that onto paper. And these students marks improved to 56 to 90 percent. So they all went from failing to all passing. You just outline using the I, you outline what the letter J would look like. Good. And the letter K is like a, your V hand shape, but you put your thumb where your knuckle is. Okay, and I think it kind of looks like a letter K. Okay, good. The letter L, I know you all know how to do the letter L because we've all seen or had it done or done it ourselves. <laughs> it looks like L. The one sign that you're going to want to start is a sign milk for your little ones. So it's just like you're milking a cow, like this. Good. So every time that you go to give them food, to give them milk, you're going to want to say, do you want milk? Do you want milk? So if you're nursing them, what you can also do is while they're nursing, you can say to them, do you want to have milk? You're having milk. He's recognizing milk. He knows when milk is coming, and that's the only one. We do uh, move his hand to try to sign milk with us, but milk's the only one so far, but we do mom and dad and all other ones. Uh, it's important to be able to communicate with him and give him tools so he can communicate with us. He was always fascinated with movement, so when I started moving my hands, it would help him calm down, and uh, hopefully, eventually, he'll be able to actually discuss what he needs. <laughs> Um, we used to do change and milk and bath time, so he recognizes bath time, he recognizes changing, and now he kind of will sign milk back. I love to ride on my bike. I love to ride on my bike. To uh, incorporate signing into your daily routines is just to read books, and you don't have to sign every single word that's in the book. You can just say, okay, I'm going to do one sign per page, and just pick that. This, the book Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? You know that one? Brown Bear, Brown Bear? So if you're doing that one, if you're just focusing on animals, you can say Brown Bear, Brown Bear, this is a sign for bear, what do you see? If you're focusing on colors, you can do Brown Bear, Brown Bear. If they're more advanced, if they're toddlers, and you're still choosing to sign with them, you can do both. You can go Brown Bear, Brown bear, what do you see? So you can keep using it as they get older.